In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate ManyChat with NA10 so that you have more features, more AI flexibility in your ManyChat. So if you look at the screen, uh, we have this ManyChat in NA10. In the NA10, I have my AI agent. I can, I have flexibility to choose any LLM model. Um, and also I can, uh, you know, connect to any, a lot of tools, Google Sheets, Gmail, Calendar, SQL. Uh, I can call any API. I can download a file. In ManyChat, you cannot do it. I can have my own JS libraries if I'm self-hosted. So there, there's a lot of flex flexibilities there. That's why you, you want to make sure you use uh, NA10 or any other uh, flexible AI solutions. So in ManyChat, however, you can only have integration with Google Sheets. Uh, you can call APIs and you have basic AI. This AI only answers questions and that's it. It doesn't take any action. It, it does not call, it, it doesn't trigger anything. So there's a, a lot of limitation. Uh, but I still use ManyChat because it gives me uh, convenience to receive any messages from Instagram, TikTok, WhatsApp, or Telegram. If I use, if I do it in my, in straight to directly in NA10, uh, I wouldn't have these CRM features. For example, I can go to my chat here in CRM and talk to any, anyone manually. And there's a lot of also useful features of uh, CRM like this mini chat. And so uh, how can we integrate let's let me show you how you can exactly do it first of all let me give you a little theory so first thing to do how to um, get messages from any chat to na10 we we use it we do it using external request in many chat if you go to many chat you can go to the settings and you choose whatever channel you want to automate. So I automated only Telegram channel. So any messages that come to my Telegram bot goes to NA10. You see, I have default reply here, but Instagram, I don't have any, uh, you know, forwarding automation. So if I go back to Telegram, open this default reply um, automation, here's what uh, it does. I receive a message, I assign it to myself in the CRM, and then I send an external request to NA10 webhook. This is a webhook that I have here, uh, you know, and this is how I receive messages. Also, you can do the same, uh, but you want to make sure you secure it and give some parameters. So I open this request, I secured it using uh, some API key and you check this API key in your webhook. Uh, you see this authentication, header authentication, and credential for header authentication. So this credential is the same API key that I have here. Obviously, I'm going to change this API key so that you don't connect to my webhook and mess up my integration. And also, if we go to the body parameter, I pass here contact ID, which is the ManyChat ID, I send it to NA10 so that I can send back a reply using this uh, contact ID. <coughs> then uh, I, I send also text, which is the last text input. It's the default um, built-in field of any uh, client, of any customer in the CRM. So basically, if someone messages you, that message is stored in this last text input field. Okay, so that's what you send to an item. That's it. I don't have anything else. Uh, after that, that's it. That's it for the uh, mini chat part. Okay, this external request we completed. Next one, an item webhook. I already showed you this. You have this webhook. Uh, now, how do we send back the message once we, uh, you know, think we do we have AI agents to reply once we have answer to the question uh, once we have a reply we send it in this HTTP request 
so this one http call okay we call which uh, method of a uh, mini chat send content method how do we send content here is the url you can use the same url then you use header authentication in the header and i have this many chat authorization uh, header credential uh, which is an api key authorization and this is the beaver api key where do you get this api key it's very easy you go to settings and here you have this api menu and here you have your api key so if you don't have it you can you just click generate and then you'll have your api key so that's basically it i send this um, i call this send the content field, uh, method this method sends message to any uh, customer in your crm so you pass this also headers content type application json and then send a json like just exactly like this uh, by the way i'm going to export this template uh, to my free school community so you can download it without constructing so this is uh, let me open my school community here i will upload this youtube video the link and as well as template uh, you can download it for example you click here download and then you will have this and it then exactly the same parameters um, so what else do i send i send this json let me show uh, exactly what it, it has subscriber id is the id of the customer that's why we send contact id from many chat to any 10. next one uh, i i i specify which channel is this telegram if it's whatsapp you you type whatsapp here okay um, so you, i send text and text is the output of my ai agent uh, that's basically the text that you want to reply to your customer and this is the tag which is safe tag for mm, meta facebook this is this message i this mm, payload i got from official uh, support of many chat i i got one from documentation but it was incorrect and i asked why it's not working and they advised me to use this payload and now it's working so you can use the same one without wasting your time uh, that's it this is how you can interconnect these two together um, if you want like deep dive into this workflow i already posted this in my previous video i showed each step what it does it basically what it does is it answers uh, questions of my uh, customers from many chat and if it cannot answer it stores these questions in the google sheet and i have all these unanswered questions once i answer these questions it automatically updates the first agent with the new knowledge so that next time he will know what to answer so i have this kind of uh, self-improving ai agent if you are interested you can watch my previous video i explained all the steps here so that's it this is how you can integrate this is how you can make many chat more smarter and you can have more advanced ai features like ai agent tools uh, having ability to choose any kind of uh, llm and so on so possibilities are endless uh, that's it if you like the video please like and comment and also join my school community we can chat and connect there that's it see you in the next video bye